Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I'm standing in the machine shed at Rockville. Now, as most of you probably know, working in a grain mill or a grain elevator of some sort can be very, very dangerous. And I'm going to show you guys in a, a little experiment to show you just how dangerous it can actually be. And this is kind of like a recreation of what can actually happen in your grain mills or your grain elevators uh, where you're processing uh, a lot of grain products. So what happens is and what has happened in the past is you're working in a grain elevator. Let's say it's, yeah, it's winter. The doors are all closed, very, very dusty, and you have an electrical shortage somewhere in the building. And this is what I'm going to show you, what the um, recreation of what would happen. So here we go. I've got a paint can here. I've got a straw. I've got a hammer to beat the lid down with. And... I'm going to create pressure inside the paint can, which will cause something to happen to it. And what I need is some flour, an electrical source, or what I'm going to be using is a candle, and um, that'll kind of substitute as my electrical source. And um, you need the flour, candle, and a burst of air to disperse the flour into a dust form inside the paint can. Here I've got the flour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it into one corner on the paint can. But what I'm gonna to need, to, to need to do first is I'm going to need to drill a hole so I can fit this straw through the base. And that way I can stir up the flour to make it into a dust form. There's a hole, approximately the right size. All right. I'm going to set the paint can down, stick the straw in, and I'm going to dump the flour right at the base of the straw inside the paint can. I made a pretty good heap in there, and all I need now is a candle. So now I've got the candle in there. Boy, they don't make these like they used to. Now I've got the actual candle. Got the torch, I'm gonna light it. Now I've never actually done this experiment for myself before, so results may, may vary. And kids, don't try this at home. Okay, so I've got the candle lit and the flower in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the lid on in a fairly quick manner. Make sure it's fairly tight because the tighter it is, whoops, the tighter it is, the higher the compression. Now all I need to do is blow in the straw. This is a prime example of what can happen in a building that has a lot of dust flying around and uh, has an electrical shortage or a spark somewhere in the building. And it can be very dangerous. There has been incidents in the past where uh, several people were killed. I actually heard about one about a year ago somewhere down in Missouri, 13 people were killed. And um, it can be a pretty dangerous occupation to work in a place like that. So um, usually you wanna keep all the doors open and kind of reduce the chances of any electrical sparks happening because something like this could happen very easily. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demonstration. Uh, it took a few tries to get to work, but I have seen it happen where, where the flame comes out of here and it's literally about that tall but um the flower that i use is a little too wet it's been sitting out for too long in the moisture so had a less of a tendency to ignite but i got it to work so this is pretty easy to do as far as school projects um i actually for the first time saw it in our classroom back in high school and uh, i wanted to give you guys the demonstration and kind of raise awareness on the hazards of working in a mill or an elevator so yeah, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you next time, guys.